I am currently at the Duke Gardens, which is so beautiful. I've never, I've not been here so far. Um, they didn't open it for the first half of the semester. They just opened it for registration. So if you're like a Duke student or faculty, you can register to visit. And it is so beautiful. It is also such a nice day today. It's like the 70s, which is around 20 degrees Celsius, which is super nice. But I decided that since today is such a nice day, I'm going to sit here and do a little mukbang and do my Q&A. So a few days ago, I posted on my Instagram for you guys to ask me any questions. I don't think I've done a formal Q&A yet since um, I started my YouTube channel. So just questions about do, questions about myself, my aspirations, anything. But before you get started, let me show you guys my food for today. So today I got some um, food from Sprout, which is like the vegetarian vegan option on campus, but it's so good. I got some soy nuggets, some Brussels sprouts, which are so good. If you ever come to Duke or a student, these are like my favorite thing ever and a sweet potato salad. So I will be munching on these while I answer my questions. So don't mind me. Um, some Brussels sprouts. There, so good. We'll just get started. Um, I have quite a few questions to get through. I just screenshotted them and I'm just gonna go through all of them. The first question is from Mr. Konefki, who is my bio teacher. So shout out Mr. Konefki if you're watching this video. I really miss bio class. You're the best teacher ever, so yeah. He asked, what is a notable difference between Duke and your high school that you didn't expect? I think um, in high school, there was definitely that sense that you cared a lot about what other people thought about you. And it also seemed like other people cared a lot about what you did, at least in my school. And in my experience, like people wanted the same positions or the, joined the same clubs and like people around you always knew what was happening with your life. But at Duke, or I don't know if it's at Duke or just college in general, people really don't care what you do. And I really, really love that um, because you can go after whatever you want. You can party all, t all the time, you can study all the time, you can have a mixture of both, and you will find your group in college. And there are always people who um, will be like you and there's no like real judgment there in terms of how you wanna live your life or what kind of organizations you wanna join, what you wanna be involved in with, and what decisions you make in college. So even like doing something like YouTube, I feel like in high school, I would never be doing YouTube. I only started at like quarantine, um, but I think in college, I'm like really fine with doing it and no one really cares. Honestly, it's just like a personal project type of thing um, that I love to do. And I think that is just a testament to how much you can do in college, how much freedom you have. And there's a lot of just personal discovery and just exploring things for yourself, which I really, really love um, at Duke and I think maybe in most colleges in general. So the next question is from C. Lian7. Um, he asked, Durham or Singapore? I think that's a pretty hefty question. Um, I think Singapore will always mean my heart. It's the place I grew up. I think Singapore has so many merits that it's so accessible, so safe so many things to do and I think it's really hard to compare Durham and Singapore because Durham is really like Durham is called a city but to me it's really not a city there's a lot of nature everywhere just look where I'm at now a lot of different things like there are no big malls here or anything like that so I think for my college experience for four years of college I really appreciate being here in Durham just because I feel that it really makes you kind of focus on school um, a lot because there's not much to do otherwise but also just like builds a really strong community in terms of Duke's community and people having to go outdoors and do things and just it also definitely slows the pace of life here and I think at such a hectic stage like college having that slow pace of life um, kind of integrated into my routine and just like having it affect um, my life in that way has been really really good. I can't say that much because I have heard that after four years people really get bored of Durham because there's not much to do um, but I think for college I really like Durham but to live long term of course 
I would live in Singapore, just so accessible, so much innovation, so much to do. Um, and it's always in my heart because it is where I grew up, but that is definitely a tough question. Dang, I can see people coming behind me. Hopefully they don't sit near because that would be awkward. But anyways, the next person asked, SM1 underscore one Lee, have you considered YouTube as a career? No, I've never considered YouTube as a career. I think once you make your passion into a career, sometimes it can become a burden and I don't want something that I'm passionate about to become a career, if that makes sense. Um, I think it's a bit different if it's like something that, you know, is like a stable job, can make, make decent money and something that you're like really going after but for me right now youtube is just an outlet um, for me to be creative for me to share my life with you guys and i will continue to vlog hopefully and just make videos as long as i find it enjoyable and i think that having it the pressure of making it ca a career will definitely make it less enjoyable for me so as of right now i've not considered youtube as a career And then the next user, which is Jojo, my friend asked, how are you expectations versus reality of freshman year? Well, Jojo, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing amazing too. I feel like definitely my expectations of freshman year from high school versus from January had shifted a lot. So of course, before COVID, my expectations for freshman year were a lot different, but I'll just talk about my expectations of freshman year. Um, after COVID. So honestly, because of COVID, I didn't expect that much with um, freshman year. Of course, I expected um, to have fun, to make a lot of friends, to um, have new experiences. But I think with COVID and having first semester online, a lot of those expectations went away and all I wanted was to know a few people on campus um, when I did go to campus and also just do decently well in school. So. Honestly, I think my expectations have been blown away, um, especially after coming here. I've met so many amazing people. I think just being on campus is so different because you really get to experience um, college life. You're like your entire life is college. You live at college, you study at college, you eat at college, and it's all kind of in a bubble, which is good and bad in some ways. But I think that college has definitely been really busy freshman year has been super busy there's always things to do the academic side is tough um, definitely tougher than I imagined actually but I think that I've been able to do so much in such a short amount of time I think in the few weeks that I've been here I've been able to meet so many amazing people I've gotten to get off campus go into nature a lot more um, which is something that I really wanted to do, especially coming somewhere um, more naturey in the middle of nowhere like Durham. I've been able to try a lot of good restaurants. But in the other sense, I've also had to kind of think a lot about my priorities and how I want to live my life in college. I think you can easily get influenced by other people and what's around you because there are so many opportunities. Someone like me, um, I want to go after all of them, but I've definitely had to have more self-control in terms of committing to a few certain things that I really want to follow through with. Thinking a lot about what I want to do in the future, what how do can get me there, um, has been a lot of what I've been thinking about in freshman year. But yeah, I think overall, um, the reality of freshman year has been, it's been really busy. School has been hard, but in the other sense, I've grown a lot. Personally, I have met a lot of amazing people and I've been able to get out and get in nature a lot more Which I really really enjoy. So that is expectations versus reality in short form of freshman year If you guys want a longer video, I can talk a lot more about Duke and what my experience this year was like And then the next question is kind of a cute one honestly um, x.angela underscore D asked what is one thing you admire about yourself by the way love your channel thank you so so much wow that is such a good question i think something that i admire my, about myself is that i am a go-getter i think that when i have something that 
I set my mind to or a goal that I want to accomplish, I'll go and do it. People just walk past and that was so awkward. But I was saying, before people walked past, I was saying that what I admire most about myself is that I'm a go-getter. I'm someone who goes after what she wants. Um, whatever crazy idea that comes to mind, if I decide that I want to commit to it, I will commit to it until I see it through. So yeah, I think that's something I really admire about myself, my grit, my resilience, and just kind of going after what I want, which I think takes a lot after um, what my parents have taught me. So thank you, mom and dad, for that. And then the next person, Shavya.kk asked, advice for finding a roommate. So honestly, I can't really give you advice on that because this year we did not have roommates in college. Also, I think Duke does a random roommate system for um, freshmen, so you really just fill out the short form about your living preferences and then get paired with a roommate. But I would say, since I do have a roommate next year, um, I would say, for freshmen, maybe choose someone who you know will have aligning living preferences with you because I think honestly, above everything that is the most important, someone you know you can get along with in terms of sleep schedule, how clean you want your room to be, I think that will reduce a lot of conflicts. So I think your roommate doesn't have to be your best friend, but of course it'd be nice if they are. Um, I think after that, I think just someone you're really natural with, someone that you're good friends with, someone you know that even if you do have conflicts, you can talk it through and kind of resolve it. I think that would be my advice on finding a roommate. And then Not CMZ asked how to get into Duke 2021 edition. So that would be a really long and separate video, but if you guys want to see that, um, just drop a comment down below. I will make that video. The next question is, what major are you planning to do? I kind of hate this question because I get insecure every time I get asked it because I have not decided what major I want to do. As of right now, I think I want to do some combo of bio stats and computer science. I'm also pursuing the innovation and entrepreneurship certificate here at Duke. So that is the only like certain thing. But I definitely want to work in the startup world or like consulting, honestly. But economics just isn't really the route for me. So right now I'm looking at exploring stats, which I've really enjoyed, um, bio, which I still really enjoy, and also computer science, which is hard, but is a very interesting and I think growing field. Maybe like statistics with a minor in computational biology and innovation entrepreneurship, that is what I'm thinking of doing right now, but that changes every two weeks. But yeah, I'll say that for now. Selena asked, go to boba order. So this really changes a lot. In Singapore, um, I was pretty basic. I would go for the honey green tea from Koi with pearls. I think it's just like natural tasting. You can taste the tea, which I really love in bubble tea. I don't like when you can't taste the tea in bubble tea and the pearls are really good. Here at Moji Tea, I really like the peach cheese foam tea, peach oolong cheese foam tea. So if you guys wanna try that out, you should. But I think that every time you go to a new shop, you should try their standard like milk tea with bubbles. Or boba so the next user asked what is the number one trait to have in college good work ethic honesty curiosity I think the number one trait to have in college hmm I think definitely a good work ethic I think that at least at a place like Duke I think the number one trait is probably a good work ethic I think because there's so much to do here there's so much going on all the time you need to have good time management time management and a good work ethic to kind of get through when you want to really go after what you want and you when you really want to get good at something and commit to something you have to have a good work ethic and good time management so i think those two would be my top two skills um i would say the next user also asked can you tell me how to get into duke um i have a few videos about how other people got into duke in terms of stats but i think definitely it's so much more than stats I'm not an admission officer, so I can't really tell you how to get into Duke, but I think really having things you're passionate about and pursuing them and doing well in them 
I think the more effort and time you put into things, um, naturally you'll succeed more hopefully in them. So finding those things that you really enjoy doing and also something you're good at so that intersection and going after it is what i would advise you to do if you're like a high schooler but i do have a few other videos and i i might make a 2021 how to get into duke video as well if you guys want so what's your favorite food oh my gosh okay i'm a huge foodie so that is a hard question but i would have to say sushi I think sushi is my favorite food in the whole world. I could probably eat it every day just because there's so many varieties, so many options. Of course, like going back to my Japanese root, sushi, it's also healthy, relatively healthy. So yeah, I would definitely go with sushi, but I also love so many other things like acai bowls, pizza. I love Brussels sprouts now, sweet potatoes. So a lot of different things. The next question from Beatrice. I miss you so much. Um, favorite class you've taken this year? That is a hard question. Um, I think my favorite class I've taken this year is Stats 199, Intro to Data Science with Professor Maria Tackett. She was by far like the best professor I've had so far here at Duke um, and just really introduced me to the field of statistics and computer science and that intersection of data science, which I hadn't really learned about in school, and I, which I find super interesting how we can make all these conclusions from data. And I think because we have so much data around us now, um, it's applicable to every single field essentially, whether that's public policy, biology, business, I think data-driven solutions is a really interesting field and that that class definitely introduced me a lot into that field, which I'm looking into now. So I would have to say um, Stats 199, um, Intro to Data Science. The next question is something you wish was true, but isn't. I think something I wish was true, but isn't is, I wish the academics part of college was easier, or I wish GPA and all of that didn't matter as much. Um, which is probably a really bad answer because I'm in college, but honestly school has been pretty hard um, I think especially coming to a place where everyone is so good at what they do and everyone is very driven That definitely creates some pressure um, and it's a lot harder to do well. So I wish um, Classes were easier, I guess, but that isn't the case, but at the same time I think I really do love the challenge I've always been someone who likes to take on challenges and I think that there are definitely some times where I'm like, wow, I just wish maybe I went to an easier school. All of these academics didn't matter as much, but I think that overall, I would say that I've learned a lot um, in terms of classes and developed a lot of my skills that way. But I would still wish college uh, classes were easier and GPA did not matter. <laughs> Favorite advice I've gotten? Um, I think one piece of advice, I don't know if it's my favorite I've gotten. Um, one piece of advice that really sticks with me a lot is live the life of honor. So I'm religious, so there's kind of the religious aspect as well, but I think live a life of honor just means live a life where you're honoring everything that you do. You honor your work, you honor the people around you. And I think when you have that mindset and when you approach different things, you really value everything that you do. You put emphasis on it. You do it to the best of your ability because you know you're trying to honor your work or honor other people. Honor yourself, um, honor God, of course. So I think that is my favorite piece of advice I've gotten, to live a life of honor. These Brussels sprouts though, they slap. Okay, next, also my Beatrice, she's asking all the good questions here today. Worst advice you've gotten. I think I think the worst advice I've gotten is if you work hard enough, you'll get what you want. I think that piece of advice is pretty dangerous because that is honestly not the case in life sometimes. Sometimes you work so hard for something, but you still don't get what you want or what you want to achieve in the end. And if you kind of have that mentality, it can be really detrimental. In another sense, I'd like to think of it as I work hard for things that are in my control and I work as hard as I can. But if it turns out not as I want it, um, 
that's all okay as well because it is not in my control and I, I try not to look back at things I try not to regret things of course sometimes you will regret things you'll always think about oh what if I did this differently what if I made this different choice so I think just working hard for things that are in your control and letting everything else run, run its course is what my advice would be best advice I've gotten in college best advice I've gotten in college is to embrace spontaneity I think that in high school or in general I've been someone who really likes a rigid schedule who always likes to know what's going to happen who honestly kind of fears spontaneity sometimes but I think college is such a place to be spontaneous to make um, spontaneous decisions which sometimes mean going to Eno River and hiking and having fun and jumping in the water for a whole day instead of studying for my midterm which is the next day but I think those experiences and those memories are the ones that will stick with you forever not that one night you spend studying for an exam. I think in college so far spontaneity has given me so many great memories and great experiences so that is something I would tell you guys to do to embrace spontaneity in college. The next comments, how are you so hot? Do you miss me? Of course I miss you. How are you so hot? I am not. I'm very hot right now because it's sunny so maybe that's why. Summer plans. So I actually have a really exciting summer coming up. I was kind of nervous before because I didn't have that many plans but now things are all coming together and getting solidified which is really fun. Um, so first off I will be returning back to Singapore in a few weeks with my sister and then having to do the two week quarantine which should be interesting. I think I'm gonna go crazy but hopefully not. Also doing an internship at a billion which is a tech sustainability type of startup that I actually worked at before but this time I will be doing data science and business development so helping them with monetization of the app and cool things like that so I am super super stoked for that I love like working at startups and just feeling like I'm actually implementing change and I think that since I've got into college I've learned developed a lot more hard skills that hopefully I'll be able to bring to the company and then another exciting thing is that me and my sister are actually going to be camp counselors at the International School of Asia Karuizawa which is a camp that I actually went to when I was in eighth grade but we will be camp counselors um, for two weeks in Japan so that means another two weeks of quarantine before that but it should be super super fun just helping out with a lot of the courses like leadership courses design courses getting into nature a lot doing hikes running doing activities just mentoring kind of middle schoolers and just traveling honestly being in japan should be super exciting uh, the olympics are also happening there and apparently no foreigners can go so hopefully i'll be able to catch some olympics games as well next question favorite memory from duke so far wow i think this is really hard because i've had so many favorite memories favorite memories with my PC, my pledge class, favorite memories with my friends, favorite memories just being in nature by myself honestly but I think the best memory is probably um, the two wellness days we had. I think I made a video on it but me and my friends went to UNC for one day and just had a food tour basically which I love because traveling and eating are two of my biggest passions so um, that was definitely really fun and then the next day going to Eno River State Park for the first time and just hiking having fun enjoying nature a lot so I think that is probably my favorite many memory from Duke so far just hanging out with my friends and exploring um, the area I'm in at. Next question from Joseph Lee who is also a YouTuber shout out to him I think he's an MIT YouTuber and hopefully um, when I go to Boston we will be able to do a collab so drop what you guys want to see favorite video you've made I think the favorite video I've made is probably a day in my life at Duke University I think one of the first ones because I put a ton of effort into that one um, did a lot of cool editing set up all the shots and that one went like pretty viral as well um, so I really enjoyed that one just showcasing my life at Duke and then Jesse asked favorite Duke eatery um, damn that is a hard question I would have to say either ginger and soy or sprout I think those are my two go-to's I always go to ginger and soy for their poke bowls 
or the Tokyo Bowl and I go to Sprout for their their nuggets, their Brussels sprouts, and their sweet potatoes. So those are my two favorite Duke eateries, I would say. Next, Ruby asked best and worst aspect of Duke. This is a hefty question. I think the first thing that comes to mind, the best aspect of Duke is the people here, which I think everyone would say, but specifically how humble everyone is. Everyone I've met so far is so brilliant, has done so many amazing things if you actually ask them about it, talk to them about it. But they're also so humble, like you would never think, no one boasts about it, you would never think that or assume that if they didn't tell you. So that is something I really enjoy. And because of that, I've had so many amazing conversations with people about their aspirations, what they've done, and I like that I'm able to have those conversations here with people. The worst aspect of Duke, I think worst aspect of Duke is probably the social hierarchy. I think that it definitely is present. Um, of course, if you don't let it affect you, it won't affect you. But once you do get looped into it, and if you do want to get involved in it, um, it is kind of complicated sometimes with the Greek life system, um, SLGs, independence, and kind of um, ranking like, oh, which business organization is the best, which which frat is the best, which sorority has like the prettiest girls. I think once you get into that realm, it can be a bit um, problematic sometimes. So I'm trying not to get into that realm, um, but I think that would probably be the worst aspect of doing. I think there are aspects of the social culture that I think are questionable um, and maybe could be improved on, so yeah. And then next, Ecstatic Cookie, Trisha asked, favorite oatmeal, also favorite rapper. Favorite rapper, of course, is J. Cole because Trisha introduced me to J. Cole. He is actually from North Carolina and he's an amazing rapper. So, J. Cole, maybe. But also Logic. Um, I love Logic and Logic's music. So, those two are probably my favorite rapper. Um, favorite oatmeal, that is so hard. I think favorite oatmeal, probably would be baked oatmeal. I haven't been able to make it for a really long time, but just a simple baked oat, banana baked oats with chocolate chips, chocolate on top and peanut butter or Nutella, that is my favorite oatmeal. I'll just plug my food Instagram at a.runners.fuel up here. I haven't posted that much, but I will try to post more um, when I get back. How did you afford your education? To be frank, I afforded my education because my parents paid for it. I know that there are a lot of good like financial aid programs at different schools as well as scholarship programs. I think I actually made a video about scholarships, college scholarships, um, but I'm very privileged in the sense that my dad works really hard and just pays for my education here. So I really, really wanna like take advantage of it. I'm on my own. Evelyn has joined me. <laughs> Hi. So yeah, best and worst aspect of Duke. I think I, I said I said best aspect is that like people are so accomplished, but like so humble. Like you would never know. Like people have done so many cool things. Worst aspect I said like some questionable stuff with like if you get into like the nitty gritty of like social hierarchy at Duke, I think there's definitely stuff there that could be improved. Yeah, I would agree. I feel like best. Um, I feel like there's just like so many different opportunities and people. Yeah. And I don't know, I feel like just being on campus, like in this environment, like I'm like, wow, like I love this place. It's mm. so great. And I don't know, there's a lot of really cool people that you can talk to and like, you know, learn what they're doing. And it's just really cool. Like it pushes you to be like better. Worst, um, a, I would agree that like socially there's like some questionable groups. Yeah. And, like it it depends on whether you want to like buy be involved into that, in it, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's questionable, and there's like been some social tension on campus. Yeah, like, for sure. Semester. Especially this semester. Yeah. And also, you can't really get anywhere without a oh, car. <laughs> that's literally something we've been talking yeah. about. Yeah. So kind of yeah. inaccessible. We're both from like big cities. She's from Shanghai, from Singapore, which is both very accessible. 
and then being people who like can't drive and also don't have a car here it's really hard to get around ubers are like so expensive and so hard to find so definitely accessibility um it's another big thing what is your dream job oh i know faith yeah faith hi faith if anyways watching. if you're watching <laughs> this i'll see you very soon next year i think my dream job is to like eat and travel the world and like document it and be paid for it i love that that's literally i feel like that's like what i love to do and like it's like really hard to like survive off of it and of course like if, if like traveling is you get paid for traveling and like just eating and experiencing cultures just exploring the world that would be my dream job a artist because like i wanted to go to art school at one point and then i chickened out and B, maybe like academia, doing something where I'm like researching something that I'm like really passionate about. So that's so funny, you're like academia, I'm like, oh, traveling and eating. <laughs> no. I don't know, I feel like my dream job is to like not have to have one certain job. Yeah. Like just to be able to like, oh, like I find something really interesting this year and then I'll just go after it and like not have to worry about like finances or all of that other stuff and like if it fails it fails but like just trying it out like whether that's like starting a company or like even working as a consultant for a year or like traveling um that would be my dream job i think those are all the questions i have for today we're probably just gonna like study here um just chill out it's a really nice day out today so yeah, thank you guys for asking all these questions. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.